Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to another edition of the Traveling Bison Handling Guy. I'm in Holdenville, Oklahoma, which we're about an hour and a half away from the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. Here, as you can tell, there are lots of bison here. This is the other Charles Addington Ranch. Like I said, located in Holdenville, Oklahoma. We're not in West Texas this time. We're in Eastern Oklahoma. It's a little bit different here. There's a little bit more rain here and um, there's a lot more bison here. So we've got over 200 bison here, I'm pretty sure. I don't know the exact number, but um, we've got a lot of bison to work. As you can see, we've got a long day ahead of us of working these bison. I'm really excited. It's fun to go to these ranches and um, see different people and see different animals in a different place and different handling, handling facilities. Got a lot to learn today. I'll try to pick up as much as I can. I'm just ready to work for Charles and try to make a good video for him and uh, the bison world right here in Holdenville, Oklahoma. All right, here we go. Time to get to work, guys.
calf red dot or red dog. It's funny. It's a late bloomer up there. Another day of bison ranching. Not on my ranch though. This is fun. Fun stuff. So in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, it's called sorting. Sorting out bull calves and heifer calves, and then letting the main ones go out here in the big pasture. Calf, here we go. Got a heifer, so now she needs to go up here. Oh, come on. Another heifer. You gotta get back in there. Well, so right now we're kind of in a holding, we're kind of in a stopping point. And um, so Robert, uh, the ranch manager of the, this ranch, um, he goes out and he brings them all in to a holding pen, just like you saw in West Texas. He brings them to a big holding lot. He brings them in with feed basically. And then you just try to get the entire herd up. Well, not all of the herd came up and there's about 20 plus bison that were left out there in the main big pasture and they didn't all come inside the lot. So we went ahead and worked a big portion of the bison and then we tried to go out and actually round up um, the 20 to 25 left over. And uh, boy, let me tell you something, that was fun. I felt like I was on the Great Plains um, running with the bison. And uh, you got those ATVs and you got the horse out there. I love seeing the horse 
being used to round up these animals. Um, you saw that in West Texas at Wolfworth, Texas at their other ranch and it's fun. That horse can get into a lot of tight places and do a really good job sorting these bison out and trying to push them. But um, so I hop in with Robert and we go out on the feed truck and we try to push along with some ATVs in the horse. We try to push those um, bison that didn't get worked into a main lot. And when you try to work bison and um, I don't know how many acres that was, just a big, huge pasture to bring them into a small three or four acre lot, that's very difficult to do. And that's really all we're waiting on is to work those last couple of bison. So, but man, let me tell you what, that was pretty cool. That was fun. Good experience. Check this out. As you can tell this landscape this environment is way different than it was in west texas and actually this is in eastern oklahoma where there's actually a lot of woods in eastern oklahoma the further east you go however there's this small area wherever this ranch is located where there's a big open area and that's the way oklahoma is the further west you go the more it opens up the further east you go you run into the hardwoods of eastern Oklahoma you run into the hardwood forest so this is kind of this neat pretty pocket out here where there's a lot of open country and uh, it's pretty neat out here it's really pretty it's a lot different there's a lot of grass here on this property every farm every ranch no matter where it is always runs into their own problems they always have issues. There's no perfect farm. There's no perfect ranch out there. It doesn't matter what type of livestock or any animals that you raise or just crops that you grow. But from West Texas, obviously they're dealing with no rainfall. They're having to irrigate um, most of their property so that the bison can have uh, good grazing grounds. Here, you don't have to irrigate. Um, this area gets 20 more inches of rain in this part of Oklahoma than they do in West Texas. 20 more inches of rain here, and it's about a six hour drive difference between West Texas and Holdenville. But I'm only an hour and a half away from where my farm is to this farm, and um, it's not much different. There's a lot of grass here. There's a lot of grass for our bison, but 
one of the problems that we do face is uh, parasites and worms. Because we do have a lot of rainfall in, in this part of Oklahoma, it can be Kansas, it can be Missouri, a lot of these southern or southeastern states that do get a lot of rainfall. What comes with that, there's a lot of good things, a lot of positive things about having good rainfall. And that's very beneficial. However, there's a lot of bad things that come with it. And one of those bad things is called parasites and worms. Animals, it doesn't matter what animal that you raise, you're gonna have issues with worms and you're gonna have issues with parasites if you are in part of these southern states. Now up in the north, I don't think they deal with the worms as much. I don't think they deal with parasites near as bad. But here, that's one of the things that we have to control. And a lot of you are wondering, why do we have to work the bison? Why don't we have to run them through these squeeze chutes and vaccinate them and worm them? Guys, because if we didn't, or if these people didn't, or any bison rancher didn't in the southern states, We'd have a lot of issues. You don't have a lot of dead bison. And then you'd be really questioning our intentions and what we're doing. You have to work these animals twice a year in Southern Oklahoma in the South. You've got to warm them in the fall and you got to warm them in the spring because there's different parasites that exist wherever they roam and wherever they graze or live. And these are just conditions you have to deal with. Every ranch or every farm has their own problems. But that's what we face here in Oklahoma is, and that's why we have to take care of these animals. And that's why we have to work them twice a year. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is a wrap for today. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching as I travel from two of the Addington family ranches, one in West Texas a couple weeks ago, and then one in Holdenville, which is where I'm at today. I hope to do this a little more often and reach out to a couple other ranches, a couple other people I know. I'd love to go and see their animals and see their facilities and see a new environment. And I'd, it'd be fun and I love, I love talking about bison and I love sharing my stories about these um, awesome animals. And I hope you enjoyed it, getting to see a different ranch, different animals. These animals look good and um, Charles takes care of his animals and does the best he can uh, with the conditions just like every other farmer or rancher does. If you haven't, subscribe to us. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching.